here in St. Louis. It's now Thomas's team offensively. Holy jumping, what a snapshot that was. Really the last two years, it's kind of been the changing of the guard. Robert Thomas, he scores! His first and he jumped goal! Remarkable player, remarkable player. When he gets on a heater, he can backbone any team to some good numbers. For the first time in their history, the St. Louis Blues are the Stanley Cup champions. The guy can skate, really good puck mover. He wants to be a playmaker. Short in it, breakaway for Robert Thomas. He scores! But he is one of the best in the league. Well, 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 well. We always want to bring them inside the room, right, Daniel? Absolutely. Bring them inside the room. Let's get, On the some, let's get some meat. Let's get some meat. Oh, well, listen, we're going to get a lot of meat here because you're here, number one. And we got a great guest, too, in Robert Thomas. First time All-Star here at Players yes. Only. So congrats to you on the All-Star game. Thanks for taking the time to join us. What does it feel like for you to say, I'm an NHL All-Star? Yeah, uh, pretty cool feeling. Um, you know, I, I think uh, the coolest thing was talking to my parents. Uh, they were so stoked. And, uh, you know, especially being in Toronto this year, it couldn't be, couldn't be a better spot to, to have your first one than in your hometown. Uh, the tickets are going to be a little expensive, but it uh, should be a blast for, <laughs> for all my friends and family. Yeah, absolutely. Congratulations, Robert. I mean, that's uh, quite an honor, and especially your first one. I can't imagine how it feels for your family as well. That, you, you touched on that. So important, everything they've uh, supported you over the years, and so it must be pretty special for them as well. But I want to go to your first year in St. Louis as a, as a teenager, as a youngster, and you had the opportunity to live with the Kachuk family, and I can't imagine how, how good that was for you and certainly being around uh, Walt, uh, as they call him, Keith Kachuk, who I played a long time against and was such a competitor, such a great player, and obviously he's got great sons uh, in the National Hockey League that are following his footsteps. How was it for you? Did you learn a lot from the Kachuks? Yeah, learned a ton. Uh, I think even Matthew and Brady, uh, obviously they grew up in the locker room and had a ton of experience that, that they were able to share throughout, uh, you know, the playoff run in my first year. And, um, yeah, it's a couple of good photos. It's a nice golf trip. But, um, yeah, I think everyone knows uh, Matthew and Brady's personalities and, and Walt's the, the king of them all. And uh, just such a, such a great experience, um, you know, being able to learn from a guy like that. And uh, not just on the ice, you know, we always watch video and watch hockey together. And, uh, but just off the ice, how to be a great teammate, how to be great to the trainers and, uh, there's so many things that uh, you just you just don't know until it till you've been through it. So, uh, you know, it was huge uh, getting that mentorship from him. I want to add one thing with that. So now you play against the Suns, you play against Brady and and Matthew, and obviously they're they're a similar style. Their father, they are talented and big and tough. I grew up with Mark Messier. He was a mentor of mine, and when he went got traded uh, or went to the New York Rangers. We stopped talking for two years because the rivalry was so big. You're not playing in the same division these, as these guys, but is there a little wink or is it just all about the game or is the competition on kind of thing? Because I know, like I said, when I played against Mark, who I, I just loved and idolized, and all of a sudden it was such a rivalry between the Rangers and the Devils that you know I had to try to defend them, and it, it kind of made it weird for me and difficult. Yeah, no, I love it. I think there's, <laughs> there's nothing better than... Uh... You know, first of all, competing, but second of all, against some of your best friends. Um, I think it's the best thing ever. Um, yeah, you line up, and a lot of times you're matched up on the ice together. And, um, you know, I think there's a game in Ottawa, or our first game in St. Louis against Ottawa. Brady tried to blow me up, and I kind of <laughs> got up a little shoulder. And uh, it's a nice video I got on my phone to, to remind him of it. So uh, there's little things like that that love it. Uh, come from stuff like that that you just love. And to that point, you and Brady will both be <laughs> all-stars this year. Could you have imagined back when you first moved in with them that you might be playing in an all-star game together at some point? Uh, not really. Right. Um, it's, it's it's pretty cool. Just, you know, every year you try and get a little bit better and, um, you know, having a good year this year. So it's it's pretty exciting, uh, um, you know, first of all, just being an all-star, but to have a couple of buddies um, be in it with you. It's pretty special. So let's go to the fact that you're going to be playing in the all-star game in T.O., I'm from Toronto as well. It's going to be, uh, I'll be working for free based on all the family and friends <laughs> and some new cousins that I don't know. What about you? What have the demands been like for the tickets? A lot of new cousins? What do you got? 
Yeah, a ton of friends coming out of the woodwork, but yeah, uh, right. No, it'll be uh, it'll be so much fun. Um, you know, my grandparents are going to be there. They Sweet. haven't been able to travel as much lately, so uh, they got down here for Christmas, and nice. uh, they're super stoked to be able to to do it. They were with us the whole cup run too, so uh, you know, they were someone that's been been with me uh, all the way growing up. My my grandpa used to drive me to hockey a lot when the parents are working, and uh, it's pretty cool to spare to share these special memories with them. No doubt. So you have a super fan of your blues because he's from there is John Hamm. <laughs> I happen to love John Hamm. I just watched uh, the second season of Morning Show and he's on it. So I, oh. I know you know him. Can you maybe introduce me one time, Robert? I, I, I love the guy. I think he's a great actor. But what's it like having him around? And uh, if you guys go to L.A. or whatever it is, and uh, is he that much of a, a fan and just loves you guys? I mean, what's it like interacting with him? Let's go. Yeah, I think um, you know he loves. You know, in your movies, it's kind of like uh, it's kind of like a locker room a little bit. Uh, he loves being a part of the locker room and all the talk and stuff. He'll come to dinner with us. He'll he'll just make sure he bounces around and talks to everyone. I think he just loves that atmosphere, and uh, he's a great guy. He blends right in with all of us, so uh, it's it's a lot of fun. I love it. He's great, no doubt. You share a name with the Matchbox Twenty lead singer. How has that been for you? Do you get messages from people? Do sometimes people want to reach out? Do you get some opportunities? Tell us. <laughs> yeah, so uh, growing up, my my aunt's favorite singer was was Matchbox Twenty. She loved she loved Rob no Thomas. No way. So um, I think it was it was just the year after we won the the cup, or it was a little bit after we won the cup. She got to meet him. Um, it was probably like a week before they came to St. Louis. So mm -hmm. she gave him a jersey and a hat. And uh, next week they're in St. Louis, and we got to bring the cup up there uh, with them. So it was me and him on the stage and. Uh, I got to just talk with him for a couple hours, and uh, pretty cool to to hear his experience and stuff. And oh, there, there's the photo. Nice, uh, it, was, it was pretty awesome. So uh, I got that signed, and and I gave it back to her, and she's pretty stoked. It's a pretty cool moment. Well, isn't it? Uh, from what I hear, rock stars or actors always uh, their dream is to be an athlete for a day, and our <laughs> dream as players a lot of the time. And I don't know about you, Robert, is to be on stage singing, right? But I. <laughs> I only have one tone, baritone, but I, I could imagine myself doing that. I mean, it, it would be awesome experience, right? <laughs> no, I don't think the whole singing and dancing. I don't got the, the <laughs> no the dancing on the. Oh no, I'm a terrible dancer. Okay, who on the squad then? Who's representing for the blues <laughs> in the arts in the arts um, department? I would say probably Cairo. He loves dancing. He should. Um, He's from Parkdale. He should be guy. able to. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. My guy. All I, right. could, I could dance off you. Yeah, it's just not on it. Week. See, I, I had one speed straight ahead oh through the boards. Yeah, sure. <laughs> How many games? How many games in the national? I, I play a lot, but just not not as eloquent, not as graceful? skillful as Robert. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, listen, you, you had a different. We level. all have to find our niche, right? <laughs> you had different expertise. Oh, yeah. You had a different expertise. It's all good. How's the golf game? I probably not playing much in season, based on the weather. Although it's been pretty nice in St. Louis. I was just there for your game. A couple of weeks ago, but how's the golf game right now? Uh, golf game's pretty good. Um, yeah, got got too much time in last summer. Hopefully not as much this summer, but um, yeah, we've had great weather. Um, started the year in fall, and uh, we've had a lot of chances to go out and play. So uh, it's been a blast. But games games in good shape. I've been uh, taking some of the boys' money before the season started. Really? What's your handicap, Robert? I know you're a good player. Uh, two and a half. Nice. Holy so who's geez. your biggest competition on your team? I'm a huge golfer, and I can never get to that level. <laughs> I played with a lot of guys that uh, are teammates that yeah. are single digits, and I'm getting – it's it, it's the most frustrating game in the world, but who's <laughs> your biggest competition? Uh, we got some good golfers. We probably got four or five guys under under a six. So, wow. uh, Kapanen's been beating me lately. What? Before the season. Um, Shatter's pretty good. So, we got, we got some good players. Who you, would be your dream foursome? Like, if you had one opportunity yeah. to play golf with or three guys, who would it be? Uh, so I'll stick in the golfing world. Um, Tiger Woods, I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I got to play with John Daly. We had a charity thing. So cool. That's fun. He was, he was electric. He had some good stories, and uh, he's a blast to play with. And um, – I'm going to go with the Canadian, Brooke Henderson. I think she's uh, nice. She's a great player. Nice. And did you grow up playing golf too? Or did you start once you got a little older? Or what was that like for you in terms of your journey in the game? Yeah, I, I learned pretty young. Um, 
again, my grandpa, he always take me out for lessons and stuff. And I wasn't too much of a beach guy. I like the, I like the sports. So uh, I'd always be at the golf course and then uh, kind of in your teenage years, didn't play too much. And then got, got to my first year in St. Louis and got my butt kicked and figured I need to work on my game. So I uh, got back into it. It becomes an obsession, doesn't it? I mean, so many uh, former teammates of mine, they want to play every day. I know. Like, yeah, I, I, I said 18 a couple times a week's good for me. Yeah, Maybe we're three, busy. But... <laughs> yeah, Dad, I'll tell them we're busy. Did you play every day? Uh, no, I play probably. But could you, like, we, your mentality, oh, like, sure. you love it that much? Yeah, easily. I probably play four times a week in the summer, so I love Perfect. it. Perfect. Do you have a favorite course? Anywhere. Favorite could be anywhere, course. not just your home coach horse back in st louis or uh, ontario but any other favorite courses for you um i honestly haven't got to travel too much and play um mm. i'm gonna check out the the band and dunes this summer uh, nice. and i got an island trip so pretty pumped for those two nice that a boy that a boy so let me Should ask you a follow-up for all-star mm. for the skills competition is there one or two events that you kind of have your eye on that you'd like to participate in uh, I'm not. I, I heard they're changing them up this year. I don't know what the the exact competitions are, but usually the the passing one, I think I'd be that'd probably be my best one. That's in your not wheelhouse. Not so much the, the the fastest lap ain't for me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, like I said, we all have our specialties, man. But you're shooting yeah. the puck a lot more this year, though. Even though you're a dish yeah. year, you made a conscious effort to shoot a lot more this year, right? Yeah, I've been working on a lot, um, just quick releases and more mindset stuff, being in the right areas and just being being ready to shoot at all times. So uh, something I, I really focused on this summer, and uh, it's paid off so far. Give me one or two of your favorite road restaurants for you in the National. <laughs> Ooh, um, I love eating in New York. We always got uh, we always got. Uh, Who knows what's up? You know, three, three, four nights there, and uh, just the the kind of diversity you can get there. Yeah. Um, I always try and go to a new place, so uh, it's probably my favorite city for food. Favorite nice. food, favorite food. Do you have one, or is it just a bunch? Uh, I, I'm a big sushi guy. I, I was about sushi. to too. say sushi guy. Yeah. Yeah. Right That's on, too. Robert. I <laughs> swear to God, I was about to say it, but I'm like, <laughs> maybe he's a meat and potatoes guy. Let me back off. No. Let me ba yeah, you're a sushi guy too? Yeah, Sick. big sushi guy. W when, I'm do when I'm doing Devil's Games, we have sushi down below. I'm I'm three times a week if there's three games a week. I love yeah. the sushi. <laughs> yeah. I'm with oh, you, yeah. man. That's a good, That's good, a good choice. Call. That's a good call. <laughs> We're going to do this segment called What, Are, what Were You Thinking? So we're going to transition to the segment, all right? So we're going to throw up some pictures, and you're going to take us through what you were thinking when you see the images. Oh, oh! <laughs> take us through this one here. If I was a betting man, I knew this one was coming first. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. Um, uh, well, I was probably thinking I just got blown up. So, man. Um, yeah, I couldn't. I, I remember just turning, and I saw him coming full steam ahead, and I was like, I need to bail as soon as I can. So, yeah. Um, yeah, that was, uh, that was a good one. Have you guys, as teammates now, have you guys talked about this at all? You and Krugie ever? Not really. A little bit at first. Uh, I remember I sent him a text, and we had a pretty good laugh about it. And <laughs> now he's one of my best friends on the team, so it's uh, it's pretty funny. So, yeah, he's a good man. That is, nice. that is so funny, Robert, because <laughs> I'm in Scott Stevens' top 10 hits where I'm coming around, and he – sends me into a somersault at mid-ice. <laughs> Fortunately, it wasn't a shoulder to the... Yeah, exactly. You know what, when everything was different back then, and sure. uh, those hits were applauded, but I went flying. So the first time he came to us from St. Louis, all the players, when I came in late for practice, they had the video up of Scotty hitting <laughs> me, so we had a good <laughs> laugh about it. So I'm sure you guys kind of had, had the same thing. I, I didn't have... I didn't laugh that much at no, it. No, exactly. <laughs> yeah, Grizzly Bear Dana was probably sour. <laughs> a little sour, yeah. I knew you'd bring that. Oh, so good. Show that on... on right when into the practice 100%. in the meeting room. <laughs> you know how the boys are. Okay, let's transition to the next one. Oh, oh what a blast. Yeah, yeah take us through was, this uh, one here. Yeah, this was obviously the parade. Um, what a what a cool moment. Um, just the amount of people in St. Louis that came out for that. And um, there's these guys just ripping around on these little bikes. And uh, Benner actually just had a bobblehead on one of these bikes the other night. <laughs> and... Uh, I don't know how they let us on these things, but uh, it was pretty cool going down the street. And uh, I actually got that photo framed. Uh, I don't have it in here, but uh, really cool moment. And um, that's a sweet photo. That's Robert, fun, man. I, Robert, I can't imagine uh, how the fans and everybody celebrate. I mean, it had been 50 years. St. Louis Blues had been 
in the National Hockey League, and there, there's no feeling like it. I've experienced it. I've been grateful to a couple of times, and I, I can't imagine what you guys are feeling celebrating with the fans. It, just fantastic, right? Yeah, just that that whole first week when we got back was was pretty awesome, and uh, the whole city seemed to not work and just came out <laughs> every day, and uh, it was a blast. So great that's so memories. cool. We'll transition to one that's along those lines here with this upcoming image. Like, this your cup party back home? Yeah, this is this is uh, yeah a cup party. I had a little celebration with the city. Um, was able to just before I had all the the minor hockey teams that. Uh, I played in New York Simcoe for for a good eight nine years. New York so, Simcoe Express uh, was able to to show it with all the share it with all the guys, uh, all the kids coming through the program there. So I uh, had a ton of people show up. Didn't expect that many people to come, and uh, it was uh, it was a really sweet. sweet Look moment. at that crowd, right? That's awesome. Yeah, that's deep. Kids. That's like ten deep, maybe more than ten deep on the right side. That's yeah, a great it turnout, look man. Good. Yeah, I like it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it turned out good. That's so neat. All right, let's transition to the next one. I think we have another one on deck here for you. Should be coming up here momentarily. All nice, right. the first goal. Yes. Yeah. Welcome um, to the National. <laughs> yeah, uh, I definitely had a ton of scoring chances before that, so uh, it was nice to get the first one, and uh, I was going to pat myself on the back. It's kind of a nice shot. So, that a boy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that a boy. It was, uh, Pretty cool moment. I got that one uh, framed up in one of my jerseys. Uh, so it was, was Pex uh, in the net. Pex Rene in the net for that one. Yeah. Oh, that yeah, makes it even sweeter because he was he was baller. What a goal! How many was. games yeah, yeah. in, Robert? Was it for you? Uh, it was around I think ten. Mm -hmm. I think it took ten games, ten or eleven, mm -hmm. somewhere around there. I think so. That a yeah, it's pretty pretty special one. Nice. I think we have one more. Trons. Ooh. Oh, this an OT winner. Oh yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um, I think it was from last year. Um, but yeah, always uh, that might have been my first one actually. So that was, uh, that was a yeah, pretty it cool was. one. Mm -hmm. Nice little two-man yeah. game with you and Vladdy Tarasenko there. Yeah, Vladdy set me up for a lot the the last bunch of years. So uh, it was pretty cool nice. that he got to set me up for the first OT winner. But that was a pretty big game for us. So it was pretty exciting. Love it. We, we're going to end on one more. That's upcoming right. here, producer says. Whoo, yeah, we were there. We were there for <laughs> the that one. Classic. Yeah. yeah, that was a uh, that was a chilly one. Um, yeah, it was. But yeah, that was uh, that was pretty cool. I, I liked. Uh, obviously, Kyra had a pretty special game. You that guys game, were flying but... that game. You're lying. Yeah, we were, we were feeling it. Um, <laughs> I haven't seen these highlights in a while. It's nice. Yeah, you're lying. You guys were balling that game, boy. You guys were flying mm -hmm. that game. Right. Yeah, that was a uh, second outdoor game, so I, I got one in the World Juniors, and mm. and then this one was was pretty cool to get the win and um in the in the cold conditions. But uh, I like their outfits walking in. We had to get the good Beach Boys going on. So yeah, you did, you totally did. And hey, listen quickly, Dano. He's a veteran. He's not Dano veteran status yet, but he's oh, a vet. Yeah. Oh, he's not a veteran, but he's a vet though. <laughs> so he might have he might have a little pull there in St. Louis. Maybe you could tell Army and. Uh, and uh, and trainer, my man Richie Matthews, that you guys should rock those more often. Those were sweet. Yeah, those jerseys were awesome. Ooh. I love those jerseys. I know we've been trying to get them back, but um, yeah, we got some we got some good jerseys coming down. I think so. Should be good. Robert, we just had the Winter Classic, and I know we we ask the players so often, and how and you do we see it in the interviews is how special it is, brings you back to your childhood and. But but what it's what's it really like? I mean I mean is it just another game eventually when you get out there? But or or does it really bring bring back uh, memories of, of a kid and outdoors? And I know it was freezing when you played in the Winter Classic there. Yeah, I think for me it, it totally does bring back memories. I think you get to share it with all your family. They always come in for the game, and um, you know I grew up on the backyard rink. My dad used to always make one, and um, he used to freeze your butt off back there. So. Uh, it, it really did bring me back to, to my childhood. And, yeah, you're playing a game, but uh, I think you just have a blast doing it. So uh, I always love the experience. That's so great to hear, man. I couldn't agree more. Listen, Robert, continued success. Thanks so much for joining us, as always. We appreciate you. Continue the hard work, and you're one of the bright young players in the league, certainly. So continue on your path that you're on right now. We appreciate you, and we look forward to having you again soon.